Thank you, Tina. At this time, we'd like to welcome Micah Hancock, class of May 2020, who will offer remarks uh, on behalf of the class. Ms. Hancock is a chemistry major from York, South Carolina. She has been very active on campus since her arrival, earning her the Student Organization Leader of the Year Award in both 2018 and 19, and the 2019 SGA Trailblazer Award. She has served as the president of BCM, because Christ matters, president of the Astronomy Club, president of Alpha 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 Honor Society, junior marshal, and the director of registered student organizations. In addition to these roles, Michael was a model student and has a very strong work ethic. She worked in the president's office and the office of admissions, and more than anything, is known for her willingness to step in and help others. Welcome, Michael. Ooh, there are a lot of you. <laughs> but good afternoon. I want to thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate this great achievement for the students that sit before me. I, along with many others, have been waiting for this day for a long time. I've been so eager for this day that I began writing this speech back in our freshman year. Looking back, a lot has changed since then, and so much has happened. Even though the pandemic delayed this day, we are finally here. We have been through so much together that in doing so, it has created a bond between us that most classes don't have. I'm reminded of the time when Hurricane Matthew hit and the whole school lost power, including the cafeteria. I lived in Memorial at the time, and if you lived there, you remember how creepily dark it got. But instead of freaking out, all of our friends, we all gathered um, in my room. One person brought apples, another person brought peanut butter, and we all settled in and rode out the storm together. When I look at this crowd, I see so many different faces, and with each one comes a different story. And I do know that each and every one of you has grown since our first day as Cobras. I've had my own struggles. I deal with severe anxiety, depression, and have to take medication. I've dealt with panic attacks, memory loss, and bad days that never seem to end. And if it were not for the friends and wonderful professors and staff that sit before me, I would have never made it here today. This community is what has gotten me across the stage and to where I am. We made it to where we are now, despite all of the setbacks. We got through pulling all-nighters, through tidal waves of stress, and through every test we were sure we weren't ready for. We made it through the long practices, all the games won, and even the ones that we lost. I know we might have missed out on a lot due to the pandemic, but I promise you that there is even more ahead of us to come. Despite all the chaos, I still have so many great memories of this place. My first real memory here was freshman year, eight of our friends all piled in to our small memorial dorm and watched a good burger. It was a nice way to start off the year. We would later grow our friend group bigger to celebrate Christmas in our room with gifts, hot cocoa, and even decorating our little Christmas tree. There are other favorites like homecoming traditions and crew races. I loved late night breakfast and all the coffee nights in the library where I'm pretty sure I drank my weight in coffee. I cherish the memories of cooking dinner with friends. Senior year, I lived off campus with my friends Isaiah, Lindsay, Doug, and Gabby. And we would pile in the kitchen and cook homemade spaghetti or Mexican food where I would make the handmade tortillas. And after it was all done, I made sure we all sat down around the table like a family. We also piled in that same kitchen during the epidemic where I became the unofficial cosmetologist and helped friends dye their hair. To this day, I still don't know why they let me do that. Then there is my best friend, Bailey, who has been with me through it all. She was my first roommate here, and when we moved out freshman year, one of us was cleaning up and sweeping, but we wanted to take a farewell picture. So we smiled for the camera, Bailey, me, and the broom. And since then, every year, we have taken a picture with the broom. It's the little things in college that made it the most memorable. Like this one, and this is for uh, my fellow science majors, it always made me laugh when Dr. Varjasari would walk into organic class and greet us by saying, good morning, you lovely potatoes. 
Go, go, Dr. V. I don't know why you did it, but it was great. It was memorable. <laughs> but my most cherished memory, though, was when the Center of Diversity held this event, where there were dozens of poles in a circle, each with a statement on them, and everyone would take a piece of string and go pole to pole with statements that applied to them. The point of the exercise was to see how many of our lives were similar and how all of our paths cross one way or another. It really made me realize that I had more in common with my fellow students than I had thought. I had the great honor to work alongside so many wonderful faculty and staff here at Coker. I did my work study in the president's office where I found my second mother, Miss Jennifer Rhodes. I also interned over in admissions where I met countless faces that became lifelong friends. Now, when I started writing this speech, I was very hesitant to talk about myself. And I realized the reason was, is I honestly didn't believe in myself. And I think that happens to a lot of us. We get caught up in the chaos of school and work, and all we see is the tests failed and the games lost. We forget to take a moment to focus on the good. I have Dr. Glavinsky and Professor Fields to thank for reminding me of who I am. They reminded me I am the girl who asks the best questions and always willing to answer them to the point where Professor Fields would say, no, Micah, you can't answer this one. Let someone else have a go. I was dependable and always happy to help. And I think we all have days where we think we can't think of the good in us. And I encourage you to lift your head up and look to the people around you because they will love you even when you can't love yourself. I have missed this place and missed all of you so much. Many things were taken away from us due to the pandemic, but despite that, I saw you all go from single individuals to a family. And that's what we are. We are a family of cobras, through the bad and through the good. So therefore, no matter where you go or what you do, we can always call this home. And today we officially walk away from being college students, but we aren't walking away from this family because we are joining an even bigger one. We join the other Coker alums who once stood in our place. And we won't turn our backs and go on like school never existed. We can stay connected and share our memories and experiences together as one gigantic family of Coker Cobra alums. Now, no matter how hard it was, we made it to the other side of it all. New knowledge was gained and new skills were learned. And no one can take that away from you. Each and every one of us have fought our own personal battle. But with each sunset, we rose stronger the next day. And with each battle came all the good times, the good friends, and the even better memories. As we embark on our new journey, we take what we have gained from these last few years and we take it to use it to propel us into the future. And I hope that you never stop moving forward and that you never forget the friends, family, teachers, and strangers who have helped us along the way. Thank you to the library staff. I would have never made it here without you guys. And thank you to the many professors that let me cry in their office and reassured me that it would be okay. And thank you to the chemistry professors for your endless amounts of patience with me. I challenge you to leave this place with your head held a little higher and your outlook on life a little brighter. Because look at what you have achieved. And if no one has told you this, then I will. I am so, so proud of you that you have made it this far. And no matter what happens after this, we will always have each other and always have what we learned here inside and outside the classroom. I congratulate you all on this achievement. And as always, it's a great day to be a COBRA.